Every day, all over the world, Volvo wheel loaders work productively in many different applications, often in hazardous environments involving flammable materials. Conditions where insurance companies and local regulations are now requiring machines to be equipped with fire retardant systems. Volvo's fire suppression system is built entirely of high quality, well-proven components and is available for wheel loaders from L60F to L220F. It's factory installed to ensure the highest reliability and functionality and meets the tough demands of both customers and insurance companies alike to provide an effective protection against fire. The system consists of the following components. The control unit that's connected to a control panel and emergency stop button in the cab. A strobe light, an audible alarm outside the machine, a gas generator or electric actuator. The electric actuator is connected to a wet chem tank and a sprinkler circuit. There's also a manual activation device fitted at the left side ladder. Further, a heat sensitive line detector is connected to the control unit. It consists of two parallel metal wires covered with a heat sensitive plastic material. If temperatures reach approximately 160 degrees Celsius, the plastic cover melts and the metal wires contact each other, short circuiting the loop. When that happens, a signal is sent to the control unit and the fire suppression system activates. The control panel in the cab flashes and the strobe light and audible alarm are activated. The operator pushes the emergency stop button in the cab and the control unit sends a signal to the electric actuator. The electric actuator activates the nitrogen cartridge which in turn pressurizes the wet chem tank and the sprinkler circuit activates. Up to 16 nozzles strategically positioned for the best possible effect, spray the wet chem liquid to suppress the fire. For Volvo, it's important that its machines and systems work effectively and at a high safety level. So we let the Swedish Technical Research Institute conduct full-scale tests on an L220 in accordance with the established fire suppression standard SBF-127 for construction machines. First, a 5 kilogram mix of sawdust, diesel fuel, hydraulic oil and kerosene are placed in the engine compartment, as well as 400 grams of cotton waste steeped in kerosene. A 3-liter mixture of diesel fuel, hydraulic oil and kerosene is sprayed onto the engine. The engine is started and allowed to reach a normal working temperature in the engine compartment just before igniting it. The system detects the fire already after only six to seven seconds and should have started spraying, but the test protocol requires a more extensive fire, so the system will be activated manually later on. After burning for 45 seconds, a further two liters of hydraulic oil is sprayed into the engine compartment, with the engine still running. The tests are carefully supervised by experienced firefighters and the staff continuously checks temperatures and other information on the monitor screen in the control room. A full 90 seconds after the fire is ignited, the engine is turned off and the suppression system is activated manually. The temperature in the engine compartment is around 800 degrees Celsius at the moment the liquid is sprayed from the nozzles. The system successfully suppresses the fire and is now approved in accordance to SBF 127 for construction machines.
To maintain a high level of safety in different situations, the system can be activated both automatically and manually. This machine is parked with its ignition and main switch off, a normal situation outside working hours. In this situation, if the heat sensitive detector senses an abnormally high temperature, the system is activated fully automatically. This operator leaves the machine with the engine idling to make a short visit in the workshop. This will also activate the system fully automatically if temperatures reach abnormally high levels. If the heat sensitive detector activates the system during work, the strobe light and audible alarm activate and the control panel in the cab flashes. But the fire suppression system will not start automatically. The operator has to activate the suppression. By pushing the emergency stop button in the cab, the engine stops, the main switch cuts electricity and the fire suppression is activated. It's also possible for the operator to activate the system without switching the engine off. By pushing this button, the sprinkler system starts spraying immediately and the operator can move the machine to a safer place. Volvo has chosen a non-aggressive wet chem liquid for the system that provides several advantages over conventional dry chem powder. The tank holds up to 20 liters of wet chem liquid, effective for firefighting and at the same time gentle on the machine and components. Cleanup is easy, just wash it off. This means lower service costs and increased uptime. Conventional dry chem powder is very difficult to properly clean away and if water or moisture is added, it becomes even more aggressive, especially on electrical components. Naturally, it's the owner of the machine's responsibility to make sure the system is properly serviced. If not, the insurance company may reduce or decline damage repairs. The fire suppression system is custom designed for Volvo machines and can be easily serviced by the Volvo network. Volvo provides well-trained service personnel with access to original spare parts and a Volvo-developed service program to take care of service and maintenance. The Volvo Fire Suppression System. Protection for people and machines. Tailor-made and factory installed non-aggressive wet chem liquid, automatic and manual activation, reality tested.